one of the big votes in the history of Europe and Scotland and everywhere. Uh, it was very exciting coming in and we were landing and we had just heard the results. So I wish everybody a lot of luck. I think that it's uh, purely historic and what's happening is uh, historic. People want to take their country back and they want to have independence in a sense and uh, you see it with Europe, all over Europe. You're going to have more than just, in my opinion, more than just what happened uh, last night. You're going to have, I think, many other cases where they want to take their borders back, they want to take their uh, their monetary back, they want to take a lot of things back. They want to be able to have a country again. So I think you're going to have this happen uh, more and more. I really believe that. And I think it's happening in the United States. It's happening by the fact that I've done so well in the polls. You look at the recent polling and you look at the swing states and you see how I'm doing. And I haven't even started my campaign yet, essentially. I mean, we've, uh, we've done very well. We're raising a lot of money for the Republican Party. I, I really do see a parallel between what's happening in the United States and what ha what's happening here. People want to see borders. Yeah. Uh, they don't necessarily want people pouring into their country that they don't know who they are and where they come from. They have no idea. And I think, you know, it, it not only did it win, but it won by a much bigger margin sure. than people thought it would happen. You have to embrace it. It's the will of the people. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not a question of approaching it. It's the will of the people. It's always the will of the people. Ultimately, that wins out. Look, if the pound goes down, they're going to do more business. You know, when the pound goes down, more people are coming to Turnberry, frankly. And the pound has gone down. And uh, let's see what the impact of that has. But I think places like Scotland and England and different places in Great Britain, I think you're going to see a lot of, lot of activity.